almost live, I think. Oh, and we're live. live. Okay. Hi. Okay, so we're back again. Hopefully this worked out for everybody. And we finally got our amazing Hangout uh, participants in the room. So why don't we start with that, if you guys want to take turns introducing yourselves. And we actually have Lyle and Chloe, and Lyle and uh, <laughs> Olivia in the room as well. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves to all these lovely people. Uh, Amy, why don't you go first? Okay. I don't know what's going on. Um. Hi, Amy. Can you hear us? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, there seems to be something playing in the background, like a video or something. <laughs> well, now it's not playing anymore. Okay, now it's not playing anymore. So go ahead. Do you want to just introduce, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about where you're from and, and why you love Degrassi? Can we go... Amy? Someone... Okay, yeah, sure, we'll start with someone else. Okay, so uh, Janine, would you like to go first? Okay, go ahead. You can unmute your mic. Okay, I'm Janine. Hi. Hi, Janine. Hi. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Minnesota. Oh, cool. And I've been watching since season 8. Oh. Um, I love Degrassi just because, well, I like the community more. Like, as the seasons have progressed, we've gotten a better community, closer community, so I really like that. Awesome, you guys are really cool. Yeah, and also like, like you guys have a lot of chats and stuff with mm -hmm. your fans too. Yeah. 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 So we love you guys. Okay. Come, well, can you guys hear? Can you guys hear? Okay. Um, and we also have uh, Miranda. Go ahead, Miranda. Hello, Miranda. Hello. Hello. Hi, she's waving. Okay, so, um, so do you want to unmute your mic here? Is that not working? Your mic isn't working. Okay, so Amy, would you like to go next? Well, I'm Amy. Um, <laughs> hey. I'm from Boston, so yeah. <laughs> How long have you been watching Degrassi? Well, I started watching like season one, and I kind of took like a little break after season six, but I kind of jumped back in after season ten, so <laughs> kind of back and forth. <laughs> Time to yeah. come in and re watch. Season 10 was intense. What's it your favorite? Early. What are your favorite seasons? The only, the, the, the I only season started, yeah. I watched when I was in the Yeah. I would say, I don't know what season it is, but when Manny got pregnant, because that's when I first started watching and that's when I became like obsessed. Do any of you guys know what season that is? When Manny got pregnant? Because I'm actually not familiar. I'm not sure what number that is Two. either. Two. Or three. Two or three. <laughs> yeah. I really like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of people on Twitter right now are correcting me, so I'm going to have to look those up anyway. <laughs> but um, Okay, so Miranda, I think you fixed your mic. Go ahead. Hello, Miranda? I guess it's still not working. Okay, Miranda, maybe just type us the, a little bit about yourself and then we can read it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Here's okay, um, <laughs> yeah, so in the meantime, why don't we uh, jump to some questions? Which one of you guys wanted to start first? Yeah, go ahead, Janine. Go ahead. You can start with the first question. You can ask any of us here now, actually. Yeah. All three. Okay, um, Chloe, if you could, exp oh, actually all of you. Okay, if you could experience a different job on the set, such as writer, ed editor, wardrobe person, or makeup artist, which one would you like to try? Oh, writer. that's a great that's question. That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do writer first because then I could write all kinds crazy of stories. crazy things. <laughs> and yeah. then I would do uh, director. <laughs> yeah, I think those would those are the two that I would want to do most. How about you, Lyle? I think writer, but also I've always wanted to be part of the casting. Like, I've always uh, wanted to sit behind the table. Oh, yeah. and just see what goes on as an actor, because you never really know, so that would be really cool. I've, I've always wanted to sit in a casting. Yeah. yeah, and be on the other side, and not the side that's, like, super scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I don't have to do anything. Uh -huh. That's really interesting. Sorry. No worries. Okay, actually, did one of you guys want to read Miranda's uh, bio here? She was just explaining. Your okay, Miranda is just saying that she's 18, and where are you from, Miranda? Do you want to oh, there oh. you go. Started watching Degrassi during season 12. I love Degrassi yeah. because they make it so relatable and realistic. I really related well to Katie's character. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Miranda. Oh, and he's from Canada. Oh, Canadians. Yay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so who else would like to ask another question? Amy, go ahead. Okay, well, I have, like, a non-serious question to start out with. 
So okay. In Sync or The Backstreet Boys? Uh, ooh, In Sync because I what? really like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't listen to either, honestly. Uh, really? <laughs> Some candy? Did someone just eat candy? Yeah, we, yeah, we all did. Yeah. I just smelled exactly. like, like, some candy for some when someone spoke. I just smelled candy. That was me next year. <laughs> <laughs> but I was too young for the Backstreet Boys. I think like I was too young when the Backstreet Boys came out. I didn't really appreciate them. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated TLC though and Spice Girls. Oh, oh Spice yeah. Girls are awesome. Oh my God, Spice Girls. Yes. Spice Girls. <laughs> Spice Girls. We dressed up as them for Halloween this year. A bunch of Jurassic Girls. That was fun. Were yeah. you? Ginger. Mm. Oh, hello. oh my gosh, Caitlin joined us. Okay, this is great news. I'm so glad that everyone's being able to join this, and uh, we're going to try to get as many questions from Facebook, YouTube, and everything. We just, just got this started, so thanks for your patience. Um, Caitlin, you're in. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. I know, finally. <laughs> hey, I'm so Thank glad you. you made it. Um, yeah. just, a, just a reminder, I know this is, we're already live, but just a quick thing is that if, um, if you have headphones, that would be awesome, please use them, and also uh, you can mute your mic when, so the camera doesn't keep jumping around. Mm -hmm. And uh, welcome, Caitlin. So, uh, would you like to tell Thank us a little you. bit about yourself? Caitlin? Me? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I've been a Degrassi fan since 2001, and... Um, there's so much I can't even say. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm in shock. I'm talking to you guys. You guys are amazing, and thanks. <laughs> oh, no, it's really nice to have you here. Um, what's your Thank favorite you. season of Degrassi? Um, I like them all, but this like episode, like this like block that just aired, like just finished up. I enjoyed that one, so I like that one. Ray of Light was kind of one of my favorite episodes, so cool. yeah. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, do you guys have any questions for Chloe? <laughs> Sorry, if that's okay. <laughs> Um, I want to know about your lesser blessed movie. Me too. <laughs> Guys, it's for Canadians. I know you Americans can't, but yeah, there it's the book that it's based on. It's playing tomorrow <laughs> at Young and Dundas. Uh, please come, you too, also if you want yeah, to. Um, yeah. It's a little racy, but it's good. It's fun. We're also be we're going to be giving away um, the lesser blessed passes. Uh, and it, this is eligible, valid for anywhere that's playing the movie. Oh, cool. So for the entire duration, uh, for whenever it's out, and it's going to be two tickets, and it's available for anybody in Canada that that is able yeah, to get to a theater that's playing it. Yeah, a bunch of different places. It's yeah. playing in Vancouver. And yeah. All. So me and Olivia are going to win that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to enter the contest. Uh, <laughs> and there's also they, they get the book as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, and the book as well. Awesome. And would you like to sign it, actually? Yeah, absolutely. How close is it to the book? That's um, cool. it's pretty like the book. Uh, the director definitely takes her own little um, twist on it, but the book is it's pretty similar. The book is not very like traditional. Um, it's kind of interesting. The way it's <laughs> today is a really crazy day. Wow. So welcome, guys. <laughs> Look who else we have in the room today. We have uh, Charlotte and Annie joining us too. So this is like pretty much the most packed hangout we've ever had. Um, did you? And we just had someone new that joined in. Oksana, hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? Go ahead. Thank you so much for joining Family us. Family here, welcoming you. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. Do you have a mic as well? Disable. Oh yeah, now I do. Um, hi, I'm Oksana. I'm from the United States. Um, yeah. Okay. What's hey, your favorite woo. season of Degrassi? We've been asking. Uh, gosh, it's either uh, this one or the last one, uh, 11 or 12. Because we're in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so did you guys, um, who else had a question? We, why don't we just jump to another question in the room? You can ask pretty much anybody that's here right now, which is the most <laughs> crazy thing. <laughs> So you guys got like a super bonus hangout for waiting and for being so awesome and yes. patient. Yes, <laughs> the reward. Go ahead, who would like to start? Give me a thumbs up. Anybody? Anybody? I feel like I should just How many people Nobody? Are yeah, so we've got about one, two. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Oksana. You can ask the first question. Okay, this one's for Chloe. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite scene to film? Oh, that's really, ever. That's really hard. Okay, okay. me. Obviously. I have a few. I really liked filming the dancing scene in um, in the Vegas episodes because I got to meet Headley and that was fun. And I also like all my scenes with this little one here Yay. because we worked well together. It's fun. <laughs> oh, everyone left. How about you? How about you? What's your favorite? My favorite scene. scene? 
don't have to think. Um, the the Battle of the Band scene was really fun, and of course every scene with her. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the Battle of the Band scene was really cool. I think one of the favorite, my favorite scenes of you two together is that scene where you guys are kicking the soccer ball. Oh my god. In front of everyone. Know. Do you guys remember I, that That scene? was a fun scene, though. She, like, kicked the ball at me, and it, like, hit me. <laughs> you were so funny. <laughs> like, ah, like, like, jumping around. I'm a little <laughs> so scared of balls. That was so funny. Okay, so how about, um, let's see. Does that, do any of you guys have another question for Chloe? <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead, Janine. This <laughs> okay, first I have a comment that my friend Danny says hi, and she says she loves you guys. Oh, Love, you Love you too. <laughs> and um, Chloe, I know you went um, to Ghana last summer with the Degrassi cast, and you also yeah. toured some of Europe with mm -hmm. Aislinn. So where would you like to travel next, and who would you like to bring with? Um, I'm actually going to the UK on – actually, no, I'm going to um, Bonnaroo in Tennessee in like a week and a bit, so 11 days or something. Um, so that's kind of fun. I'm going to uh, a music festival there, and I've never been to Tennessee, so that'll be interesting. And then I'm going to the UK, which I'm really excited about. I'm going on July 3rd. I'm like going there for the summer. And awesome. Yeah, so I really like Europe, and I if I could go anywhere though, um, like right now, I'd probably go somewhere like really tropical and not humid because it's really sticky and gross here, yeah. and it's yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hot here right now. Thanks for that question. Yeah. That cool. Okay, so I have a question from Twitter. This is from Hugs for Eclair. Uh, which couples do you ship? This can be for Ooh, either you guys or anybody JD. in this room because there's a buddy. JD. JD. JD's cute. And Camaya, but I'm also a Zaya fan too. Yeah. That's cute. So many cute boys. So I know. <laughs> I guess I'm an Eclair fan, I guess. But like, I'm in different. Because it's been going on for. I'm indifferent ever. to it. I know. It's bad. I mean, I like don't have anything against it. But yeah. It's one yeah. of those things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and who else? Um. Oh, um... I like yes. Trya. I, I like Trya. Tristan and Maya. <laughs> that's that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys seen the uh, pictures of the... the, the, the <laughs> your, your love bird pictures? Like the really sweet like prom pictures that we took on, your, on our Instagram? Um, yeah. Yeah, I so you guys do them. make a good couple. What picture? Yeah. I don't even the know. Ones you do, like, the, the ones where you well, just were, like, hugging like each Vogue. other. They're more Vogue. Vogue, Vogue. It's, it's the one where you're like that? Yeah. Oh, wait. That one. <laughs> okay, um, Miranda, go ahead. Would you like to uh, ask a question? Oh, sorry. Okay, you'd like a second before you ask a question. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, just give us a thumbs up to jump in the room. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Amy. Um, so my question um, could be for all of you. Um, so Katie, like, went through, like, just, like, a huge transition from being, like, the a soccer player to being like a more edgy girl and I was just wondering if like any of you have gone through a transition like that in your own lives. That's a really good question. Um, I, guess, I guess that's just a part of growing up also. Like I feel like I'm a very different person than I was when I was like 14 or 15 mm -hmm. just because you know time you change and you get new friends. But not like drastic changes. I don't think, I think I've stayed true to like who I am the whole time. Except the hair changes, like, because it, you know, like, makes me look a lot hair. different. Yeah. I was blonde, and then I was black hair. So and you were, like, really blonde. Yeah, but really that wasn't blonde. my, you know, me. It was just for work. But everybody was like, whoa, when I came into school with black hair, they were like, um, why? And I was like, oh, that's really strange. <laughs> Absolutely. How about you guys? Do you guys have, have you guys gone through any big changes mm -hmm. where you're like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even recognize myself. Oh, well, ki I'm not really, kind of. When I was like 11, 12, I was a major tomboy. Like all boys clothes for like a year, and then I was like, screw this. <laughs> Back to my normal self. How about you? You uh, had your hair. Yes, I'd say, because when I was little, I always had like white hair, and I wanted that back. I wanted like my childhood back. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, I Yay. bleached my hair again, and I actually bleached it before. It's not the first time I've done it, but I just have always dyed it back for the show. Oh, very about cool. you, Annie. Have what you gone through any big changes? We're talking about no. big transitions. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same. Mind. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, that's um, interesting. Oh, my voice is like this now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. My voice, I lose my voice all the time. I straightened my hair today. I guess that's kind of different. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh. What just happened? Degrassi. Oh, Degrassi. Gosh. Oh, no. Hello? Okay, I'm moving down there. Hello? Can you guys see us? Yeah. Yes. Or whatever. Okay, so I guess it's still working. It just the camera just hasn't has. It's freezing. Yeah, just twitching. Oh. Up. Oh, okay, and we're back oh, yes. again. Okay, so, and, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> and go. Okay, so I think um I think Miranda had a had a question. Go ahead. Okay, so do, Katie does it, struggled with a lot, uh, an eating disorder and a pill addiction. Can you relate to Katie in any way? Was it hard to portray a character with such hard struggles? Yes, can you? I, I've i never been addicted to painkillers, and I've never had an eating disorder, so not really personally can I, like, but, you know, there's struggles in everyone's life, and I just tried to take um, a different kind of struggle that I've gone through, and um, I guess it was kind of difficult, but I, I enjoyed it. I liked playing her when she was you know, struggling. It's kind of weird that actors like when their characters are like going through hard times, but it makes it more dynamic and interesting for us. <laughs> and how do you get into the mind frame when you guys are doing that? Because like, uh, for example, okay, so Fiona, uh, Annie, your character went through a drinking problem. Uh, Maya has grieved uh, the loss of a loved one. <laughs> <laughs> and Tristan has gone through an, also his own eating disorder. No, I'm just saying, there's just like so many like up and downs, yeah. right? So That's how do you guys, okay, this is a question for everybody. Like, how do you guys get into the character? Like, how do you guys get into the mind frame of that type of mood? Like, do you guys take I, inspiration from someone else? Or? I actually would, like, right before they said action, I would cross my eyes. And like, and then they'd be like action, and then I would just go. But it just gave me that kind of like oh, discombobulated, yeah. like I was just kind of like impaired vision oh, thing. Just like I wouldn't like cross my eyes for the oh. scene, but just like directly before we started. Oh, I How about you? Yeah. How did you get really <laughs> sad for your scenes then? Oh, I usually took other experiences that made me sad. Mm. Pretended oh, it was like okay. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us, Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, and okay. So yeah, that was an awesome question. Thanks, Miranda. Um, who wanted to? Who else wanted to ask a question from here, or, or we'll just jump up to a, maybe a question on YouTube or Twitter. Do we have any questions from there? Uh, let's go with Amy Makara. Um, have you ever been surprised by what Katie's done? Have you ever been surprised by what Katie's done? And that's from where, Twitter? That's from YouTube. Right. YouTube, from YouTube. If you guys can hear Krista in the background. It was from Amy. Amy McCara. Amy McCara, thank you for your question. Hi, Go ahead. Amy. Um, I'm always surprised with what Katie does. She's a little crazy sometimes. And, you know, the from the um, sledgehammer garden scene to the chainsaw cabin scene <laughs> to the flipping <laughs> the men in, you know, she's a little nuts. And she always surprises me. She's Jane, a little nuts. Chainsaw cabin scene. <laughs> chainsaw cabin scene. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if she's going to, you know, taekwondo someone in all the time. Like, it, I just don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it'll become a thing for her. That was actually a really good scene. That scene with you and Marisol and the chainsaw uh, in the cabin. That was fun. It was really that fun. Was actually, really do you have a funny though. story about that? I think you, you I, mentioned that before. Um, well, first of all, um, both of us, like, had to smoke that, like, fake joint thing, and it was just, like, really <laughs> funny, and all of us, were, both of us, and, like, never, like, we both don't smoke so the two of us were like <laughs> in between every like take and she was she was like I this tastes so funny I was like this tastes awful and I have such a headache from all the smoke and then I also we were digging in the ground and then I had to cover Mer like her mouth Shanice and I had to put my hand on her mouth but I kept like laughing because we were supposed to be like super scared but she was like <laughs> like making <laughs> And I realized, like, in mid-laughter, it's kind of in the bloopers, I, like, realized that my hands were so dirty, and I was, like, slapping it on her <laughs> face, and I felt so bad. I was like, um, I guess I'm going to put this on your face now. I'm really sorry, Shanice. And so that was kind of funny. And then I and didn't the actually get to... Thing too, right? Yeah, I didn't get to do the actual oh. chainsawing. Um, I didn't get to hold it while it was on. I got to hold it while it was off, and somebody else, a stunt double, 
did the chainsawing because it was such a small enclosed space. They didn't trust me with it. Apparently, <laughs> I didn't want to. Cut I wouldn't off either. Them, you know? <laughs> just so. Sorry, I'm just trying to read a message here, but um. Oh, we gotta, we gotta go, okay. guys. To okay, do you have any questions for us? Because we have to go now. <laughs> yeah. Like, we'll yeah. give you guys a hangout another day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will give you guys a hangout. Well, okay. So thanks so much for. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little segue with uh, with Olivia yeah, and Lyle yeah. too, right? Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Okay. So, um, who else would have? Who else had another question? Okay. Um, Anybody else have another question? Okay. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Janine. Um, if you were forced to get a, a tattoo at Needlepoint, no, what would you want it to look like? <laughs> I have a tattoo actually. I just got it done. I don't know if you can see it. Oh wow! So that's what I would get. I oh, guess. cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's like a new thing, and it, I'm so excited. I always wanted to show it off, and it was such like an exhilarating experience. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's really nice. Um, yeah, and I also like my mom was like as soon as she got because she has one, and um, she was like, it's weird. Once you get one tattoo, like you I want did. to get What's a that? bunch more, and she was like, just be careful. That it's like kind of addictive, and I don't know why. And I was like. No, it's not. Like it's one, and I'm excited. And now I'm like, I want another one. I'm like, I don't know where to put it, and I don't know what I'd want. So I have to like, you know, suppress that urge. Very cool. That's a great question. Um, Kayla, did you have a question? Yeah, I did. Um, do you prefer playing badass Katie, or do you prefer playing like school preppy, like President Election Katie? One hundred percent badass. <laughs> I love Katie yeah. when she's playing. She's awesome. I like. She's. I mean, she's always been uptight. Like, she's still kind of uptight in her badass way. But, like, I just, like, um, first of all, the clothes make it, like, fun. I get to, like, it feels more in the character rather than being in, like, sweatpants all the time. I was like, oh, I have to wear another tracksuit today. <laughs> no. But, um, I yeah, I like Katie a lot when she's punky. She's, um, she's cool. I like it. And uh, Miranda, is it okay if we read that message out loud? Oh yeah, it says it says it's okay. okay. Okay, would you like to read that? Sure. Um, this isn't a question. I just wanted to tell Chloe something. I messaged her on Tumblr towards the middle of April. Oh, I remember this. And I was in the hospital struggling with similar issues Katie went through. Katie, re uh, Chloe replied to my message. I got the message when I was in discharge, and um, when I was discharged, and just wanted to thank Chloe. It meant the world to me and helped me a lot. Whenever I struggle, I always go back and read her response. Thank you so much. Aw, I'm really happy. I remember getting it, and I just wanted to share some positivity and, like, you know, it's hard sometimes, but, like, it's awesome that you, like, got through it, and good for you. Well, everyone, ev I honestly have to say every Degrassian is, like, the nicest, like, the people that have messaged, and everyone in this Hangout, thank you so much. Like, I recognize a lot of your names and your Twitter handles um, from the accounts, like, just from tweeting back and forth with you guys, too. So thank you so much for being such amazing amazing fans, yes, and seriously. thank you for bearing with us for the past 30 minutes yeah. of us like struggling with the internet. <laughs> oh man, I didn't get to really witness it. I was just like, okay, well I'm just going to go and tweet things. Yeah, you were, you were hacking <laughs> us out while we were just like, uh, okay. I'll yeah, Santa, so I'll I'll Santa, go ahead. Did you want to actually say that out loud? Yeah. Oh, Santa. oh Santa, did you have a question actually? Did you want to say that? Uh, that wasn't a question, but um, you gave me 10 virtual hugs on Tumblr like <laughs> last month, and I wanted to thank you so much for that. <laughs> it's oh, like, it meant a lot. I love, I love Tumblr because I feel like on Twitter, answering questions on Twitter I'm not very good at, and also I find that you know, it comes up on people's feeds a lot, and I find that like maybe I'm, I feel like I'm cluttering other people's feeds, so I like Tumblr because I get to see it and everybody gets to share and I can, like go and sit in the messages and like type them out on my computer. Twitter doesn't work on my computer also so what? I know I can't figure it out so uh, I always have to do it on my phone and it's small so yeah if you guys want to contact me I do respond to my Tumblr messages often so that's probably the best way. And what's your Tumblr page? Oh my Tumblr is headlessb at tumblr or dot tumblr dot com or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know and it's it. B as in B-E-E. Yeah, B-E-E. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
So you can check it out. I have like art and stuff on there that I like. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And um, do you guys have any questions, like Degrassi related things that you want to know? Maybe we'll like wrangle some more cast Amy members just walking. Who knows? Go ahead, Amy. <laughs> oh, like like Degrassi related? Well, oh, I, I have yeah. a question. Oh, anything. <laughs> um, so we were talking about like who you ship earlier. Like you said mm -hmm. that you ship JD. Um, would would there be anyone else? on a show that you'd like to see, like, Katie with, or you would have liked to see Katie oh, with? Oh, cool. Um, hmm. I have a big, well, I did have a huge, even though there's, like, a uh, age difference. Okay. Oh, I think yes. who this is. Um, Sloane and Avery from Grey's Anatomy, I, if I ever got to, like, be in the same room, I'd be like, oh. Also, Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio, like, I'd just be like, I don't know what to do. Like, you're so beautiful, and I'd, like, want to hug you or something. I don't know. Like, And so that would be cool if, like, Katie was older and they got to be love interests. And anything Leonardo DiCaprio, even though he's not on the team. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but I've never met so many people that love Leonardo DiCaprio as I have, as I have when I started to, until I started Degrassi. Because every girl and guy that I've ever met on the uh, show is in love with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. Luke, Annie, and I are like, uh, Leonardo, everything. And like The Great Gatsby, somebody was like, that is okay. And I was like, well, he's, oh my god. <laughs> That's Leonardo DiCaprio in the snow globe. I love this. I need one. Oh my god, this is wonderful in the snowy. He's so beautiful. <laughs> um, uh, what were we oh, the yeah. Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. I really want to see it, and someone was like, hey, "It was okay." Nice. And um, and I was like, "But Leonardo is in it, so it has to be wonderful. And even if it's not, I will stare at him and be happy. I will pay the twenty dollars to see him on a big screen. That's what I want to do." Miranda says, was it hard to film the scene where, oh, this is another question, okay. Was it hard to film the scene where Maya finally had her breakdown after Cam's death? It was so beautifully done. You both did so well. Aw, I cry whenever I watch it. Aww. It was difficult for sure, um, just because I don't, like, it made me really sad to see my chicken little so upset. <laughs> I love Olivia so much, so to see her sad I was like, you know. Um, even if it's fake, I'm just like, please stop crying. It really, I don't like it. Um, uh, but she did a great job, and Stefan did like a wonderful job of directing us and making sure that we felt comfortable. And um, he did actually one um, take where it was not on. Um, it was on Olivia, so uh, the woman who plays my mom, or our mom, and uh, and I were like with our backs to the camera and he was like just for this one take I want to get Olivia there like speak extra loud like yell extra loud be more angry just to get her to come off like more intense so that was interesting like we got to like really like yell like over the top like yell at her and then when we turned around it was like normal not so angry but it got Olivia there like we were like screaming at each other it was fun <laughs> it was like intense for sure that's a really difficult scene to, to be doing over and over yeah, and over again. Yeah, but we, Olivia nailed it, so we didn't have to do it too much. Oh, good. And, oh, I think oh, it's no. a lipstick. Oh, somebody was screwing around my red <laughs> <laughs> And, um, yeah, so did you? Did anybody else have uh, any other questions? I think Janine actually was commenting on The Great Gatsby, I think. Because I, I have a feeling, yeah, she's nodding. Okay, so she's like, I thought it was amazing. So the okay. movie, she's I'm not really excited. Good. So I can't wait to go see it. Yeah, Krista also really liked it. She's oh, typing back there. Okay. And she loved it. She okay. was just talking good. about seeing it again. <laughs> so that's always good. Yay, because I heard two people say, eh, and I was like, what? But it looked, the, first of all, the, I would just watch the trailer. The trailer yeah, is like so stunning. epic. I was like, stunning. Wow. Stunning. Um, did any of you other girls have any questions? And then we, or, oh yeah, go ahead, Oxana. Do you have any odd methods for memorizing your lines? Mm, huh. um, no, not really, but I do have some th one thing that Luke taught me actually when I first started. Um, memorizing lines has never really been an issue for me for some reason. I find it, especially Degrassi scripts, because they're very like conversational. Like, it's just they bounce off each other, they make sense. They also, the writers tend to like know how you speak, so they, I, I don't know, I feel like Katie and I speak very similarly. Um, but when I can't, when like there's a lot of like uh, 
when I can't pronounce something or if it keeps coming out wrong or if I can't really remember how it works, like if I, I can't remember the word placement of certain words, I will say the line while looking at it with my two fingers in my mouth. <laughs> And something about that, because it's difficult to say with it with the two fingers in your mouth, so then when you go and say it without the two fingers in your mouth, it comes out perfectly. It's really strange. Because when, like, it's a tongue twister and you can't, like, if it's, like, a lot, I, I can't think of one off my the top of my head. Um, like, I don't know. I used to, when I first started working with Luke, I couldn't say some lines, and he would, before a take, he goes, blah, 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 says it, and then can say it perfectly. <laughs> And actually, in the season 10 or 11 bloopers, you see Jordy go, uh, in it. Like, <laughs> and that's, that's what we're doing. Like, we, I don't know, something about putting your fingers in your mouth helps. And where did Luke get that from? I have no idea. Okay, we're going to ask Luke, Luke. If anybody can ask Luke why, <laughs> why that thing works. Because um, that's bizarre. Yeah, and, but it works. And kind of, kind of <laughs> awesome. Do we have any other questions from the uh, from online that we should should answer? Mm -hmm. Krista or anybody? <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. We actually, I kind of feel like today we're also in the communications office, which is so, so hot. Just yes. want to say that it is, like, like crazy hot. And... <laughs> Um, it feels like we're kind of like in a newscast room, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> One moment while we go convert to Twitter. Okay, so okay, oh, a there's question. a there's a question right here from Miranda. Yeah, though. yeah. Actually, can we let this? I'm sorry, Miranda. Is it okay if we just jump right back to you? We're gonna take another question from online first. Okay. Okay. So really quick. From YouTube, Mamie loves music. Ninety eight. Is there any mythical creature you would want as a pet? Oh yes. Can you guys hear the questions? Can you hear? By the way, no. Not really? Okay, so it's from Mythical Creatures? It's like, what mythical creature would yeah, you want as a creature. pet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> or would you want a mythical creature as a pet? And absolutely, who wouldn't? I don't know. Um, let, I'd, like, I'd want to say dragons because of Game of Thrones, but I'm also <laughs> scared that they might be scary. I don't know. If that wasn't an option and they were too big because I live in the city and it you know, wasn't practical... <laughs> That's okay. the reason you can't have a drink because you live in the city and it's too. It's possible. If we're like really being realistic here, aside from the mythical creature thing, um, I'd want like a smaller myth. I any of them. A small dragon. Would oh my be cool. gosh, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Well, it's because I'm in the city. I couldn't fit a dragon in my apartment. Okay. Just Nothing to it. Oh my god. Oh, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Anyway, <laughs> did you guys think that was funny at all? I, I, was, <laughs> I like tearing up because I think it's so funny. <laughs> I just imagine you like taking a dragon for a walk <laughs> in the city. <laughs> That'd be cool. I, okay, another funny thing. They, they, they fly. Yeah, they also. fly. They fly, so yes. Because I run into Chloe at the dog pond near, oh, near, yeah. my, near our apartment. Because we lived somewhat, somewhat close, close to each other in downtown, <laughs> and, and so you're picturing I'm just picturing, me and Bell. Yeah, I'm picturing, I'm picturing Chloe on a walk with her pet dragon. That would be amazing. I would love that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, back to the questions. Unicorn. Um, yes, unicorn. Oh, too. Amy, that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So Miranda had a so. question. Did you want to read that out loud? Sure. How did you get into acting? Do you have any advice for anyone who would like to pursue acting? Um. No, you just spelling mistakes. It's all good. It's fine. Um, uh, I got into... Okay, I'll start with the first question. I got into acting... Um, I went to a art school, and one of my good friends, Grace, um, had an agent, and I was in grade 9, and I was like, what's that? Like, I didn't really understand. And, uh, and then I told my mom that I wanted to go into modeling, and my mom was like... <laughs> My mom is very protective, like, sometimes with certain things, and she thought that, you know, that might have some, like, eating disorder, like, somehow correlated, and she, not that I've ever experienced anything, like, with my, that kind of stuff, but um, she was scared for me as, like, a young, impressionable mind. She didn't want me to have to deal with, like, my weight, like, any have to, like, worry about my weight or how I looked all the time. So she was like, what about acting? And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I don't know anything. I guess I'm in school for theater. So um, I met with an agent who's amazing, and she took me on. And then I didn't know anything when I started. I was, like, in over my head, going to auditions, didn't know what the hell I was doing. And 
Um, and then I ended up landing this job, and it was like one of the most, it was just crazy from there. That was like the most nuts day ever. I remember calling Sam, because him and I and Aislinn were all friends before I came on the show, and I was like, I got the part! And he's like, what? So they told me someone else got the part, I was so sad all day! <laughs> and I was like, no, I did! And we were so excited. Um, did you ever get any scenes with Sam and Aislinn? I got scenes with Aislinn, which was yeah. really awesome. It was actually my first scenes were with Aislinn, never with Sam. Which is too bad, but uh, one day, maybe we'll work together down the road. Um, and advice. For pursuing acting, uh, just work hard. It pays off. Um, they want to see the casting directors always want you to be great. They never have, you know. They want to find their starlet. So you know, work hard and um, you know, be confident and memorize your lines. <laughs> and be off and, book. And also, now you know if you can't memorize your lines, lines put your fingers in your mouth. Fingers in your mouth. <laughs> Apparently, that works. <laughs> yeah. it, does. it really does work. So this is uh, everything's coming full circle. Do anybody else have a question from the room? Yeah, go ahead, Amy. So, are there any like past characters on the grassy that you think it would have been like cool playing, like from yeah. any past seasons? Yeah, I like. Well, I liked Manny, even though she was like kind of nuts, like a like a little bit like racy <laughs> and like, all over the place. But like, I think that'd be really cool. I think that like I could play that. I tend to gravitate towards those kinds of characters, which is weird, but, um, and Holly J, I, we talked about this earlier today, mm -hmm. like, I would 100% love, but I don't think I could, you know, do it justice like Charlotte. Charlotte can play a mean, but, like, funny mean, <laughs> like, it's awesome. I love Holly J so much. And also, Charlotte's nothing like that in it, real life. Like, the farthest thing. <laughs> she can play it really well, but she is, like, the sweetest, nicest and like so person. smart and funny, and like Holly J is super funny, and funny, smart, but, but like just like in real life, Charlotte is like <laughs> she's such. I don't even know how to describe her. She's just like super intelligent and down to earth and really easy to get along with. She's cool. Yeah, everyone's pretty awesome on this show. Yeah, we have a great. <laughs> yeah, great it's awesome. Anybody yeah. else? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Janine had a question. Go ahead. Okay, someone from Tumblr had a really good question, so I thought I would ask. Yes. Um, what do you think Katie Mountain's biggest flaw is, and how does it lead her um, to make self-destructive choices? Her biggest flaw? Good question. I think yeah. she's impulsive. Uh, and I think, that's a really good question. I think she's impulsive, and um, I think she overreacts a lot, and I think that gets her in a lot of trouble. She ends up, like with the Drew stuff, I think that was where, like, that was very apparent, her, um, you know, showing up to his house and, like, doing things like that. She's very impulsive. She wants to fix things. She wants everything to be perfect. And I think that really um, affects her and how people look at her. And it's nice that she found Jake because it was, like, this really, like, mellow, down-to-earth, like, get, you know, it was a really perfect pairing because they, he kind of levels Katie out. She's not as, like, high-strung. Like, okay, and we're just <laughs> noticing, sorry, this is, we just got distracted slightly because uh, Lyle's having a photo shoot outside yeah, of her window right now, is. so hold on, I'm going to see if I can turn the camera so you guys can see. Hold on one second. They're oh, out. you can't see. Oh, you can see them kind of. Oh my gosh, now you can sort of see Olivia by the window. Can you guys see it? <laughs> Hello? Hey, <laughs> is this a vine? What's yeah, happening right it's now? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, they're taking some videos oh that you'll probably then see online. Did you just delete it? Oh. Anyway, sorry about and that. And now we're back to Chloe's hangout. <laughs> yeah. Back to me. Stop stealing my moment. Back to her. Back to me. <laughs> I know. No, uh, on a horse. My dr with my dragon. <laughs> with your dragon. Okay. Oh yeah, is that like the Old Spice commercial? Yeah, the Old Spice commercial. I'm just quoting. They should put dragons in the Old oh. Spice commercials. That would make it. Oopsies, more. our camera's falling. Uh, this is just a full day of technical difficulties and just complete improv. Doesn't like me. This apparently. is such an improv, like a complete improv. So, uh, anybody watching this? Yay! Thanks yeah. for staying on board. Um, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah. So I sorry. I think Caitlin raised her hand for oh, a yeah. question. Go ahead, Caitlin. Yeah. Um. I have a list, so it's like I'm trying to narrow it down because like they're like already gone. Um, 
What was it like to karate kick the guy? And um, that and I think it was Raylight that got to do the karate kick. Like flip, oh, uh, the flip. Dude. <laughs> yeah, the flipping of the guy in Little Mistakes. Are we talking about that? Yeah, no, no, I think we're still on. We're yeah. Just, just the camera for some reason. Okay. okay. Uh, just confused. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's weird. Uh, it was, it was fun. It was really easy, actually. And then it was like, it reminded me back to like when I got to flip Luke once. That was fun. Um, I, I had more fun flipping Luke than I did the, full, like the guy that I didn't know because it's Luke and like we tease each other and that's fun. But also because there was a really funny thing where he was wearing those like, um, Taekwondo pants. And every single time I flipped him, they kept ripping, and they only had one pair. So in between scenes, in between takes, the wardrobe people were, like, in between his legs, like, sewing up <laughs> the pants. And so, like, it was just so embarrassing. Ah, they're filming again. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Shh. <laughs> um, <laughs> He is like a sailor. She swears so much. It's okay, and um, they're just filming a vine that you'll probably see online, so yes. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Um, sorry, Caitlin, your question was that yeah, uh, like yeah. this. Right. Stitch the taekwondo pants back together. together. That was so. That's the like the flipping extent of it. Um, but yeah. Uh, that was really funny, and I kept making fun of him. I still make fun. He's like, remember that day with those pants? And I was like, oh, my God, that was so ridiculous. And there's one, they actually kept it because, um, like, I'm like, I go to help him up, and he's like, nope, just, like, I'm good. Like, but it worked perfectly, but the reason he did that was because he couldn't get up because the pants were so open that he didn't want me to have to get up. Like, he was like, no, I know they're really ripped, so leave me here. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, my God. And you see me laugh afterwards because I know what's going on. And, like, it's really funny. Yeah, that was a really I'm gonna funny watch that. I'm going to watch that scene again to see if I notice it. It's, I, like a far, it's like a really far away shot, but you can kind of tell what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny day. Cool. Well, well, Luke is such a champ. Like, his outfit, like the gold onesie oh and, my like, God. his ripped pants. Oh. I love working with Luke. As, as much as I'm not, like, I liked crew, like, I... Working with Luke is like the most fun ever. He's just one of those guys that's just like really easy to get along with, and he's such a jokester. Like we never stop joking around when we're together, so it was always like so many jokes and so much fun. Cool, he's a good guy. So, did any of yeah. you guys have any other questions? Actually, let's take a question from the internet. Yeah. Okay, Krista, do you want to shout it out to us? Okay, let's go to YouTube from Cam Saunders. Cam Saunders. This is Why? It? Yeah, this is YouTube. Dead. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube handle Cam, Cam Saunders. Uh, oh. Did you have fun in Ghana? I did. Did you have fun in Ghana was the question, in case um, you guys didn't hear it. Ghana was amazing. Um, it was beautiful and warm. It was a really humid, which was kind of crappy because I don't really like humidity, but um, that was the, the only bad thing I'd ever have to say about Ghana, um, which is like not even that bad. Uh, we were right on the ocean, and I got to spend a lot of time, you know, telling scary stories to Olivia and, <laughs> you know, us being scared, and like there was all these like weird like ghost things. I don't know. We, we freaked each other out because we were all in cabins, and we like, it, it was just like one of those things that we kept like, I don't know, especially Olivia was trying to freak me out. By like putting cards and it like mysteriously disappeared like in my books like weird stuff like that and I was like oh, Olivia stop I'm scared and like um, that was fun and like just hanging out with the cast is always such a joy and it's like such an amazing experience to get to go and like be immersed in that kind of culture and like get to see that firsthand it's like an amazing amazing experience. And do you still keep in touch with a lot of the cast members outside of the show? Oh yeah, because you have because there's always like a hiatus break mm -hmm. between you know like filming and stuff. So like, do you guys still keep in touch? Uh, we over do. The we try. Like I haven't seen a lot of them in a while, but last night actually I had some people over to my house. Um, like <laughs> I have my house is empty, so I had some people over. Um, I guess I shouldn't say that. I, well, it was <laughs> last night, and I had people over and. Uh, I got to see a bunch, like, AJ came, and, like, we all hung out in Charlotte, and Annie, and Sam, and Aislinn, and it was like, oh, this is so nice to have it, and Monroe, and Monroe's brother, and, like, all these people, so getting together with the cast and getting to see them is always, like, so fun. It's hard because we all live, so weird, because we all live in, like, completely different areas of the city, we don't really live near each other, 
we're all very different ages, and but like we get along so well. So then we do get the chance. We love hanging out with each other. Aww, that's fun. And for some reason, I don't know if you guys can see us. Can you guys all nod if you guys can see us on the big screen? Like, is it still working? Weird. Yeah, it's so okay. strange. For us, it's a anyway. The camera seems to have faded out for us, but um. Oh, okay, then we're back. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. It just I think Chloe just fixed it. So it just um, yeah, did you guys have another question? Who would like to go next? Okay, yeah, go ahead, Amy. So like Katie's like a pretty like serious or like dramatic role, and then so does your like character that you play in like the Lesser Blessed. Like, would you like to do like more like comedic roles or like funny, or is this what you want to stick to? Yeah, I would love to do comedy. I actually had this audition. Um, for the states a couple days ago, uh, you know, it was like a week or something. Not really, doesn't matter. But <laughs> I did this audition for a comedy, uh, like a sitcom, and that was really fun. It was like a taped audition, so I just had to send it. But um, I like didn't realize like how fun it is to do like like really like quick and witty stuff compared to. I'm so used to like doing the like dark and uh, you know emotional emotional like drama type stuff. So that was really cool. And then they actually really liked the audition, but. There was like no money to fly me to the states, which was shitty. I'm so sorry for swearing. Um, yeah, so uh, so I got a little bit of a taste. It's I would love to work in comedy, absolutely. I just don't know if I have like textbook like com like comedy style. Like I don't know if I have it in me. I think I'm like pretty like silly outside like in my own life, but I don't know if that's like T V comedy, you know, so I don't know if I'd be any good at it. But I'd love to try. I think you're funnier than you think though. Like I mean I think there were there were Katie moments when she was with Jake that she was kinda of funny or that's like true. her like when you were kind of like even when you were playing that soccer scene again, that's, that's a good example. Like that okay. one was kind of like you had like moments of like this like funny when you're allowed to be funny. Right. It's just like who they're knows? so like you know the there's some people like Jacob who just like know everything yeah. about comedy and they get it and it's just like on point, and they always have funny little like moments in the episode. I don't feel like I'm like naturally like that, but um, maybe I can like learn from Jacob. <laughs> just Jacob. just shadow him yeah. for like a few days. <laughs> How can I be funny like you? <laughs> well, actually, you put two fingers in your mouth, and that's, that's how you do. That's how you become funny. That's how it works. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be ridiculous. Um, and this is a question from Miranda. What's your favorite episode? I think is that what you said yeah, from season twelve. Oh, they're so hard. That's there was a lot of good ones. Um, my favorite. I just really liked the Vegas episode because I have like a lot of good memories attached to it. I like got to work a lot, and it was like really. It was a lot of fun. Um, but if aside from that, like other people's storylines, I really like the episodes where Imogen's. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, uh, Imogen's dad? Is yeah, that Imogen's one? dad yeah. and, like, the dog. Uh, yeah, the dog. Yeah. That was really sad and, like, really well done. Sorry. So I really liked that episode. Or those two episodes. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of so many moments. Yeah, there's yeah. so many. But those those stick out in my mind. And, I mean, there's some really good ones coming up also. Mm -hmm. um, I also really like... The one where Maya is very like, you know, she's oh when she's out. yeah in the yeah. party scene and everything yeah that was yeah. weird and like I was like ah Olivia <laughs> like I didn't like seeing her, short like, shorts and like no and her like red boots and like whatever <laughs> that was fun and I also but I really like um the stuff with Zig afterwards like when she throws at her cello and like all that stuff that was good episode too yeah very sweet um Caitlin yeah. you said you had a lot of questions would you like to jump yeah. in. Sure. Um, my friend Nicole wants a shout out, so can I have a shout out for her? Sure. Hi, Nicole. Awesome. Thank Hi. you. Um, and how close are you and Olivia, like on set and off set together? Like, how close are you guys? Like, do you guys um, know a lot? Do you... <laughs> Stuff like that. Pardon, what's the last bit you said? Like, you guys, like, do you guys hang out a lot, you and Olivia? Because you guys are like sisters and yeah. stuff like that. Um, we don't really hang out because, like, I want to. I have, like, a deep, like, I, I guess it's because I don't have siblings. Yeah. And Olivia's always like, ugh. Oh. Like, I, tr I, 
she does treat me like a sister sometimes. I'm like, chicken. Like I'm always, I always call her chicken, and like I always follow her around, and I like want to hug her all the time. And she's always like, Ugh, like I'm coming. I'm like, but like, why don't you love me as much as I love you? Like I don't understand. And like Aww. she's like, I do love you, but like, like so we have that kind of relationship. That like, is so funny. funny. Yeah, it's very like sibling. sibling. <laughs> Um, but like I'd love to really hang out with her like one on one. We always see each other on set. She lives in London. She's also a lot younger than me, so she can't like drive. She can't really like. And we, I was like, let's go skating, and then we never did. And I thought that would be so cute if we went skating, but we um we didn't. And one day, and I'll see her like I see her at parties and like things. But she's also really like young. Like after the rap party, I had people over to my house afterwards, and I was her mom was like, she's fifteen, like. She can't just like, and I was like, right, okay, I will take care of her, I promise. But it's just weird because like I see her in, you know, work settings, so age doesn't really like. I don't know whether to treat her like her age or to treat her like a peer because she seems one a lot older than she is, and um, I don't know. I see her in a work setting, so I forget she's like in grade ten or eleven. She's in yeah. grade eleven, and she's like, yeah. oh no, she's in grade ten. Grade 10, yeah. I'm like, what? Like, I, <laughs> it's just like so weird to me. I, I don't even remember what it's like to be, even though that's not a long time ago for me. Mm -hmm. I, you forget. It's really, I, really forget. easy yeah. to forget. So I would love to hang out with Olivia. Maybe when she's older and she gets a car and she can come in. I don't even drive, so yeah. I can't go and pick her up or anything. Yeah. And I feel like everyone gets pretty busy too, like because especially when you're mm -hmm. at school and you're working oh, yeah. and like all this tough. stuff, right? So it's it's pretty tough. But yeah, but we'll, if she goes on a free the children trip, then I get to spend time with her there. Her and I just joke around. I literally just tease her all the time, and she hates when I call because you know it's Chicken Little, but I call her Little Chicken, and she hates it. She's like, "It's Chicken Little," or like something else, and I'm like, "No, it's Little Chicken. You're just a little chicken. You're like the color. Your hair is the color of a chicken in my mind, and like you're just really cute." I just that's that's my relationship with Olivia in a nutshell. And she calls me Nutmeg. That's my nickname. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. <laughs> I told her I was like, if I get a cat, I want I want to name it Nutmeg, and she was like, that's a hideous name. And I was like, Olivia, and she was like, that's awful. I'm gonna call you Nutmeg from now on. So she's like attitudey like that. She calls me Nutmeg or Clo the Crow, which I don't get, but you know I let I her. I think do. it's because the Clo the Crow, because like when you did your black black hair. Yeah, I guess so. That makes like, sense. Yeah, but that's that's actually a pretty hilarious. She thing. couldn't find me in her phone for a long time. She's like, I don't know. If your number like I can't find it and then she found it and it was under nutmeg she forgot that she put it in nutmeg so she could not find my phone number for a really long time I was like you put it in nutmeg and I hate you for doing that because you just want to hate like it and yeah that's my really I don't know she's funny oh you guys are so funny <laughs> And I'm sweating so much. <laughs> it's so hot. It's Wait, do so you have hot. those videos that you took the last time I was here with Olivia? And we were like... Oh, your... okay, yeah. So what happened is, okay, we were took the Friday Fave videos and stuff. So this is, like, things we've just been filming whenever, mm -hmm. like, anybody's on set and, and all sorts of stuff. So, like, it could be... I don't know, we've been filming them for a while, like, I want to say, like, we've been filming them for months, and, like, so we've been clipping these together, um, and we lost that footage, so we have to do that again sometime. No, that was, I was so excited I for know, it to come me out. too, me too, I know, Aww. I was going to message you. Anyway, so what happened is that we lost some footage because our cameras, again, it's a on little your phone? Bit, yeah, yeah, so I had uploaded to my laptop, and, and I'm not a bore, I'm boring everybody with this story, but, Sorry. like, no, but long story short, it just... It it's gone. didn't save in the way that it was supposed to save in the format yeah. it was, and it was it disappeared. And that, and among a bunch of other things, were lost. That is so yeah. sad. Okay, well, really I sad. will ex you can, you describe explain, yeah. the video because it was really funny and I liked it a lot. So we did like Friday fan or Friday favorites, or yeah. um, and there's a video uh, where I'm like talking and Olive we had been hiding like we were just like screwing around and in the green room in the green room and I had been hiding behind or. Olivia had been hiding behind me or something while I was talking and then like popped up in the middle of it so we got this like really funny idea where I'd be talking and then she would like I was like my favorite um person on the show is and then she like popped up behind and was like me basically like with this like it's gonna be me and then it was like Monroe Chambers and she was like what? And then I was like, I'm kidding, chicken. I'm and like, it was so cute, and it's gone, and I'm sad. I know, me too. I'm so sorry because it was really, it was very, very funny. And there was the same thing with Olivia and and Kate and then Maya. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, did the same thing. Like, no, I saw Chloe's like coming up behind her too, and it's like, like me. 
And she's yeah. like, and then she says somebody else. And I was like, yeah. ah, screw you. That's <laughs> really funny. And then she's like, no, it's. I'll try. You know what? I'll try to refilm it for you guys, and, and like we we'll, we'll try it. our best to like get that for you guys, and, and like I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hardest. There, there will really be times. Um, yeah. So, do you guys have any other questions for us for Chloe, uh, for Chloe right here? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Alexander. Um, if you could be on any other TV show, which would it be? Game of Thrones, one hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. I don't even know what I I I would play like. Like a small, like a second role on that show. I am in love with it, and um, but like the dream would be to like play Khaleesi or something like that. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. The dragon lady. So it's, no so wonder it's, this whole story is just all dragons, dragons everywhere. I'm obsessed now. <laughs> yeah, and Miranda, that's a great question. Miranda, you also had a question for. Um, do you have advice to give someone who's going through a hard time? Oh, going through a hard time. Yeah. Oh, uh... It's hard. I mean, we all go through hard times. There's no, you know, avoiding it. So I'd say, kind. This is, has a lot to do with my tattoo, actually. Um, you know, taking a really difficult time, or so to speak, if we put it in a metaphor, an arrow and turning it into a flower. Like realizing that it turns into, it always gets, turns into a form of growth, and like it always makes you a better person and takes you somewhere else um, and leads you in a better direction. When something is really difficult. Um, you know, you shouldn't like always consider it a punishment. It's probably just you know change, and you know it shows you where you're not able to like where you're st like shutting down and not letting yourself grow. So hard times, it's like you know you have to stand up, face your fears, and you know grow up. And that it happens to everyone. And um, I don't know. That's my thing. Arrows turning into flowers. I like that imagery. Oh. That's really that's really beautiful. I didn't know that's what your yeah. Your, it's like the it's about. like arrow, but like fern on the top, so that it's pointy. So oh. that's like the whole point. Yeah. It's, wow. Yeah, it's actually a Buddhist teaching. Not that I'm like religious, but that's what it is. Yeah. Ooh, that's very interesting. Did any of you guys have another question? Maybe we'll do one more from each of us, and each of you guys in the room, and then uh, we'll take one more question online and and uh, wrap things up. Did any of you guys have a question? Yeah. Go ahead, Amy. So, like, Katie's, like, very athletic, or, like, was, like, in the earlier seasons. Do you have, like, athleticism like Katie does, or no? Not quite. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like sports. I do. Um, I'm not particularly good at them, but I like to play. I'm, like, mediocre at all sports. I'm not good at them, but I'm not bad. Like, I can play, but I'm not great. Um... So it was really funny doing soccer scenes with, like, national team girls, like Canada's national soccer team of, like, 18 and or, like, 18 and under came to play with me um, at a soccer field, and they were all, like, really in their cleats, and I'm in the cleats, like, looking like I can do anything. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like, let's go play and, like, let's film. And, like, they the whole point, like, the director was just, like, pass the ball to Chloe, like, this is Chloe, this this is the team, and I was like, hello, and they were like, just pass the ball to Chloe as often as possible, so it made it look like I knew what I was doing, and then I was like, okay, and like running, and they were like, yes, like shoot for the goal, and then the goalie would like dodge in the opposite direction to like make it look like it went in, and I was like, yes, this is how I should always play sports, you guys just let me win and, the ball and make it look like I'm doing it on my own, so that was fun, um, but I'm not particularly good at soccer, I mean, I can play, and I can, like, bounce things, like, I can bounce it on my knee. Like, Luke and I actually played soccer in, like, just one-on-one -on -one at lunch. So I like sports. I'm just, like, not great at them. Except for swimming. I can totally, like, I'm a fast swimmer. That's the only one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. How about you, Janine? Do you have any questions? Um, I know Degrassi is a big part of your life now, so where do you think you would be if you hadn't auditioned or even haven't gotten the part? Ooh, oh, my God. Wow. Uh, in a very different place, for sure. Um, I guess I'd be at university right now. Um, I would have never got to go to Haiti. I would have never been to Ghana. Like, that's just, like, a weird thing. I I have no idea. I would probably be at university right now because, you know, Degrassi going through school and working all the time was really difficult, so I didn't end up going to university this year. I will go, but I didn't 
apply to the universities that I wanted to because my grades weren't like up to par for some of the things because I was literally gone all the time. So um, I guess I would be, you know, there studying and being a student, which is weird, like being in a dorm. Like even the thought of me being there is like right now would be strange. So that's a weird, interesting question, and I'm really happy you asked that. <laughs> that's a weird perspective. Yeah. How about you, Caitlin? Um, if you got to go anywhere in the States, where would you go? In the States? I'm from Boston. Yeah, in the States. I'm from Boston area, so it's, like, awesome, I guess. But I you know that you're probably, like, hating the Bruins right now, because, <laughs> I don't know, because, like, I know a lot of Jurassians, like, a lot of Jurassians We like you, but we're mad at the Bruins. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, the Toronto <laughs> made it for like a second, and they were amazing. amazing just have to say, and next year, yeah, they so watch it, watch yourselves. If I get, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to be in the states. I think I said this earlier. I'm going to be in Tennessee, but I don't really know anything about Tennessee. I'm very United States like. I don't know a lot, and I feel really bad. I feel very Canadian when people ask me questions about this. <laughs> I am super Canadian. I don't know where that is. Um, uh, but if. I've never been to Boston, but I hear the shopping's awesome there, so I would definitely like to go yeah. there one time. Uh, if you ever go. I will, I will let you know on Twitter. <laughs> I will be like, I'm in Boston, Caitlin, finally, yeah, where am I going? <laughs> Tell me how. I'll give you, I'll do you, we, okay, I'll let you know then. You and can we, give me some, like, pointers. So the Quincy Market, is that in Boston? Awesome. Is that right? Is that yeah. right? Okay, good, go so that was the right place. There's a market, you can go there too. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, we, Are you from yeah. Boston as well, Amy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Nice. Well, Boston, yay, I'll have to go and check it out. I've never been. And then I guess New York is, like, a great place. I love New York. It's so fun. But I've only been once, so I'd love to go back. So we be... have to check that out. And Miranda, did you have a question? Would you like to type it to us? Oh, she's um, typing. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's typing right now. Okay, okay. so why don't we jump to uh, Oksana. Go ahead. Um... What do you like to do outside of acting? Mm, oh, that's good. Um, all kinds of things, I guess. I really like, recently have found a love for reading. I never really liked reading because it always put me to sleep. And it wasn't that I didn't like reading books like I did and enjoy books, but I always fell asleep as soon as I started reading. I was like, oh, I'm tired. Let's sleep after like a page. <laughs> like I literally, I don't know what it was about reading until recently. And like recently I can like get through a book and not pass out. I don't know what was going on in my like in my life at that point. But um, I really like reading a lot and um, enjoying the outside. So I sit in Trinity Bell, which is where mm -hmm. we um, bumped into each other and read. And, and I like drawing as well. I um, But I don't draw from like my imagination. I am very good at drawing things that like a picture, and then I can draw that picture, but I can't draw things oh. from my mind, which is really weird. But it, it's like calming and nice, and sometimes really frustrating, but most of the time nice and calming. Oh, very cool! I didn't know that you could draw. It's we'll it's you. not like or, or, really or sketch. Or ske I guess something. it's like sketching, and I never really show anyone because it's like, well, this is just like a copy of that, so it's really like, but it's not like tracing. I like, I don't know. It's something that I can do, and it's a weird talent, I guess, but. <laughs> I can't think, I can't create my own artwork because it just ends up coming out warped. I don't know. It's <laughs> awful. I'm sure it's me. Okay, and this is a question for Miranda. If you did go to university, what do you think you would oh. go to study? That's a great question. I've always been a science kid, so I assume oh. that, but you know what, Degrassi, because of Degrassi, I had to stop taking sciences in grade 11 and 12. Um, I took it all the way through grade 11, but it was really difficult. So grade 12, I had to drop I still took chemistry, but I didn't take biology, and I took kinesiology trying to, like, take an easier science and math. I didn't take functions or calculus, so um, I guess, like, if I, Degrassi wasn't in my life, I would be still doing sciences and maths, and Degrassi, like, forced me to branch out and, like, take family studies, and I was like, this course is going to be so easy, like, I'm so used to math, ha ha ha. My <laughs> friends, like, my friend Grace and I were like, she was like, you have family studies today. I was like, I know, it's a joke, like, what is that? And then I got there, and I was like, this is a really hard course. I feel like <laughs> looking down at people being like, oh, you're taking family studies, like, ha ha ha, like, I'm taking calculus, and it's really difficult. But family studies was an amazing course, and I enjoyed it so much, and I learned a crazy amount that's, like, really relatable and, like, uh, I can see it in my own life, which is 
important as well. So, and I learned how to like write a proper essay in that class and like cite properly and like all these other things. So, thanks, Gra thanks, Degrassi, for forcing <laughs> me to take that course. It was like really enlightening. So, I guess if I wasn't in Degrassi, I would be studying science. But now I think I want to study something else because I got to see that side. Oh, yeah, it's kind of interesting how that works. Cool. So there you go. It's just like there's all these what if questions yeah. now, like today that, that that are always very interesting. It's now really it's kind of like, like go home and you're just like. Oh, huh, winter. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what it'd be like. Do you guys do that? I mean, to the girls, this is a question for you guys. Like, I mean, let me know if you want to pop out. I'm just, I'm curious. Like, do you guys spend a lot of time thinking about no, these what, what if, if type things too? I've never really thought about yeah, it. Yeah, neither have like I. Now I'm just, I'm just curious because these are just a very deep question to find that yeah. in this room. So thank you all for yeah, really making us think. <laughs> do you guys do like what yeah. ifs? A lot of you guys too. Amy? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, I, I was, like, originally thinking to, like, hold off, like, college and just go, like, hang out with my friends for a year, mm -hmm. and I, like, honestly think that if I, like, did that, I wouldn't be, like, anywhere where I am right now. Like, I work in the, like, entertainment industry, so I have, like, an internship at, like, the biggest venue in Massachusetts and stuff like that, and I work with, like, an artist in Boston, so I just, like, think of where I would be if I had gone to school in, like, Maine like I wanted to and just hung out with my friends, so it's right. kind of weird thinking about awesome. that. Kind of strange how that works, you know? Like, life just... It's so different just on, like, a certain choice. But it makes you, like, ah. Like, and everything seems to happen. And just, like, the same as, like, kind of exactly what you just said. Place. Yeah. Which has a lot to do, you know, like, every, what I was talking about earlier, like, that hard times. Like, everything usually falls into place. And you end up wow. with, like, somewhere that, you know, you should be. I hope this has been inspiring. I hope this is so interesting. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, kind of like tempted to just like, I want to hear these stories after you guys can tweet it or tumble it at us. And yeah, so this is a question from Susie, Susie Banks. Um, her, her handle is Susie Ban. It's from Twitter. Chloe, if you're stuck on an island, would you, who would you rather be stuck with? Um, your least favorite character, so just anyone on TV, or your favorite character as a zombie? Oh, that's a great question. My f okay, on Degrassi, can I, I guess I'll keep it in Degrassi, like my favorite character on Degrassi and my least favorite character on Degrassi. My least favorite character on Degrassi, you guys are probably going to hate me for this, is Claire. <gasps> I'm sorry, yeah. I'm so sorry. Like, Aislinn's wonderful, and I love Aislinn so much, but Claire, I just, like, I just, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, calm down, like, it's okay. Yeah, and Katie don't just worry. Like, I, criticize Katie like I do to Claire sometimes. So Claire, I don't think I really care if I was stuck on an island with Claire. That wouldn't be the worst thing. My favorite character would be Maya, and Maya as a zombie sounds really, we've seen her as a zombie, and that would be terrifying, so I would pick Claire <laughs> over Maya yeah. zombie. Yeah. That's what I would do. A Maya zombie would, would be Horrifying. Horrifying. <laughs> Horrifying. Can you imagine, like, um... Because I like, just love like her, so I'd be like, around. please get... Oh, I hate it. And I would, like... No, I don't like it. I can I just imagine like Maya. Like, well, Maya zombie... Well, we have seen Maya zombie yeah. on the show. Yeah. So so that Maya zombie would not be unpleasant it with her raspberries in her looks, mouth. And she looks blood. awesome as a zombie, but, like, through a computer. Yeah. In real life, I'd be like... Yeah. I could do without that. Some scary stuff there. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, so we're gonna just gonna wrap up the hangout. It's been so much, so fun. much fun. And did you guys want to maybe just uh, share your some of your thoughts and some things that you want to talk to Chloe about um, one on one? So why don't you guys start? We can start with you, Oksana. Do you want to go first? I'll go last. Oh okay. yeah, go last. Okay. Um, actually, Miranda, is it okay if we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, we can read that out loud. She said. I always think of what ifs. I wonder a lot about what I would be doing now if I hadn't gone through all the struggles I have. But then again, I realize that I'm happy where I am today, which is important. It's just like, that's the most, I think that's the best thing. that If you're like happy where you are, like, that's really awesome. I mean, I couldn't think of something better to just be content with who and what you have become over the time. Like, just content. It's good. Yeah, that's definitely good. How about you, Caitlin? Um, I, like, I thought I was not going to go to college this year, but I decided to go to, like, community college instead of, like, like university or something, so community cool. college, and it's, like, right up the street for me, so I'm glad I decided to go, and I just finished my second semester up there, so I'm happy about that, and, yeah. Yay, school's out for the summer. You know, like, <laughs> I'm taking a summer class anyways, but hey, whatever. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's it all summer. happens for a reason. Yeah, yeah and everything. maybe you'll end up somewhere really great after you do all these courses and I you know, hope so, spend too. some of your summer. 
yeah. working. Oh my God. And like me, all you cast members one day and go yeah. up to Toronto. Yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's like a road trip I'm planning to do this summer to go to Toronto. So, like, head up that far. To yeah, it's not that far. That'd be fun. Oh my god, I hope that you do. And the CN Tower isn't really that exciting, but I guess like I do. You, it, I guess do you it. should see it, yeah, but it. just yeah. don't have your hopes up for how great it is. It's really not that exciting. <laughs> there's a lot of other things in oh, Panther. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of other cool things in Toronto other than the CN Tower. Just keep going. Yeah, exactly. Panther, come say hi to me. The Panther cat. has a window. Um, <laughs> so the, the cat's just sitting on the window. Let's see if you can spin it. I adore Panther. I came today, and this is the first time I've been here in a while. And I was like, Panther, I feel like I just came home. And I was like, oh, my oh. cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um... Yeah, thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. Did you want to actually say anything at last things to Chloe? Anything? Um, thank you for this opportunity, and yeah. I hope to oh. like do more of these eventually. And yeah, thank you. Cool. It was really thank nice you. meeting you guys. And, and um, yeah, so uh, Janine, would you like to say anything? Oh no. Okay. No. Thanks, okay. Well, thanks. It was a wonderful meeting with you and chatting with you. Amy, do you? Uh, do Amy, we... would you like to go ahead? Um. Yeah. Can I? Can I actually have like a uh, you say like hi Amy and wave so I can yeah, get it absolutely. later. Hi Amy, it's really nice Thank to you. Meet you. You too. Nice. And I just want to say like thanks because I never thought I'd get picked for this, and you're actually like the character I can relate most to on the grassy, so it's really cool. Oh, cool! I'm so happy to hear that. Oh yeah, and thank you for like always being there to like answer on like Tumblr and stuff because I've Tumblr'd you a few times and you've answered, so that's pretty cool too. So thanks. Cool. I'm happy to answer questions. I mean, it's just, you know, I feel bad that I, you know, for a while I didn't because I hated doing it on my phone, and so I found a suitable way of connecting with you guys, and it always brightens my day to get messages from you, and honestly, you're like the best fans that any, like, anyone would ask for. I get such nice messages, and I'm like, I don't even know if I deserve this. Like, this is too nice. Who, me? Like, I don't understand, so thank you guys, honestly. And uh, actually, Miranda, I think I'm um, just... Wrote some more stuff here. Uh, thank you so much for today. It meant a lot getting to talk to you. Oh, I'm so happy to do it. And uh, to read that out loud for everybody, it says, Thank you so much for today. It meant a lot getting to talk to you, Chloe. Well, I'm happy to do this. This is fun. Yeah, and, and like again, I must say that this group, too, this hangout with like the five of us in the room, six of us, and like that was at one point we had, you know, our intern and Kristen <laughs> here, and like everybody's packed into one room, sweating, and everyone's just so excited to be talking to you guys because yeah, eventful. Like, it is okay. the most fun to have so many cast members here visiting mm -hmm. and to have you guys all here in this room. Yeah, is the have an opportunity thing. to like actually see you guys rather than just virtual, you know, names. Yeah. You know, so now we have a face to put to the picture. Yeah, and also, um, and that's another thing we've been doing with other hangouts, some of our hangouts, is that if you guys uh, just, in our hangout, we have, like, a private message that we send to you. So if you guys just want to, like, add your Tumblr names or Twitter names and things into yeah. there, too, like, we can share it with each other. So if we don't know how yeah. to get in touch after, you guys can just send it there. Cool. And, uh, Oksana, go ahead. If, are you ready to share something, or did you want to? Yes, I uh, I'd, I'd like to thank you, like, so much for this opportunity. I, like... Chloe, you are one of my biggest inspirations. Aww. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, can I, uh, like Amy asked, can you, can I have a... Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Oksana. It's really nice meeting you, and that was one of the sweetest things. I, that brightens my day. If I can be, like, an inspiration to one person, that's, like, the most amazing thing. So, I'm really happy that I got to meet you guys. Thank you thank for you so thank much. you. This has been really really fun, awesome. and now we're we're think we're gonna go ahead outside. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> and try to like, get a good glass like... of water. <laughs> Some water. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, please feel free to keep tweeting us um, and for sending us uh, just comment on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our Tumblr page, Google tweet Plus, me. tweet um, Tumblr. Chloe. So just message all of us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and like I said, it's going to be in the Google Hangout thread. So, for example, like where um, when we invited everybody in, that's where you guys find, uh, you can just type in your addresses there. We won't be able to save the chat in this window. So just save, uh, just send it to us again over there, okay? Mm -hmm. So thanks so much. And for everybody watching, thank you for bearing with us yeah. and for waiting <laughs> online. And if you guys God. checked out the first Chloe Rose Hangout, <laughs> and before this one, I hope it was okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> and kind of entertaining while we just kind of like screwed around and like tried to. <laughs> I feel like I should have been like juggling or something. Because yeah. Gloria at one point was like, V8, I'm <laughs> drinking drinks. This is what I'm drinking today. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. It was super nice meeting all of you.